Backup and Data Location. To make a backup of your data, go to Backup and Restore on the Tools menu. Whenever you first open the Backup and Restore dialog, the folder your data is currently stored in is shown here. Select a folder to make your backup to. Your chosen folder now shows here, and the action buttons have become active. Click on Backup to this folder to make the backup. To restore from this backup, select Backup and Restore again from the Tools menu. Select the folder you backed up to. And click the Restore from this folder button. To store your data in other than the default location, go to Backup and Restore on the Tools menu, create a folder to store the data in, and click Move Data to this folder. Your data is now stored in the folder Quips 2. Note that the original folder button is now active. If you click on it, followed by Use this folder for data, you now have two usable data folders, Quips 2 and the original folder which is now empty. Switch between them as you wish. The inbuilt backup and restore system should be used with extreme care. Used correctly, it makes backing up and restoring very easy, but it also opens the door to simple and disastrous mistakes. As an example, let's say that you set out to back up your data. You use the Recent Folders button to choose your backup folder and click Backup to this folder. Oops! No you didn't. You clicked Move Data to this folder. It's just a mistake and you could correct it. But correcting it must be the next thing that you do. When this move is finished, you must restart back up and restore and move it back where it belongs before you continue with the backup. Consider the current situation. 
there is no data in the original folder. If you ignore the mistake and simply rerun the backup now, you will be overwriting the backup folder to which you moved your data with the empty contents of the original folder. And when that completes, you will have nothing.